Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss how EITRP rotor calculates metric, right? So in this scenario, we will discuss how R2 and R1 will calculate metric for this network for 10.1.1.0/24 network. You will under also understand what is FD and what is RD. What do you mean by feasible distance and what do you mean by reported distance? But if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe this channel please click on bell icon so that whenever i will upload next video you will get notified so topic for the day is hot eigrp router will calculate metric okay so see we have one lan right this lan is connected to r2 router 2 right suppose the interface interface id of this interface is 0 slash 0 fast ethernet 0 slash 0 fast ethernet 0 slash 0 fast ethernet 0 slash 1 okay suppose the bandwidth of this link is suppose the bandwidth of this link is 10,000 right 10,000 and suppose delay of this link is 100 right suppose the bandwidth of this link is 10,000 and delay of this link is 100 and you all guys know what is the formula of metric right so formula of metric is 10 raised to power 7 upon least bandwidth plus total delay upon 10 and whole multiply by 256 whole multiply by 4 256 so this is the formula to calculate metric right so now r2 is going to calculate metric for this network for 10.1.1.0 slash 24 network and this network is directly connected to router to r2 okay so see how r2 will calculate metric r2 will put bandwidth over here 10 raised to power 7 upon list bandwidth so now this prefix is directly connected to r2 so r1 r2 is not receiving this prefix from any other router so r2 will not compare bandwidth right r2 will put this bandwidth over here right 10000 so 10 to the power 4 plus delay delay of this link is 100 so delay upon 10 and whole multiply by 256 right whatever value you will get over here yeah right you will get 1000 over here plus 10 and whole multiply by 256 so you will get 110 multiply by 256 right whatever value you will get that will be matrix for r2 right to reach in this network and it will become fd feasible distance what is feasible distance feasible distance means total distance from source to destination total distance to reach in this network from r2 is fd right total distance to reach in this network from r2 is known as fd fd means total distance from source to destination right so r2 will calculate fd for this network and whatever value you will get that will become fd now question is how r1 will calculate metric or how r1 will calculate fd for this network actually when you enable eigrp over here as well as eigrp over here then r2 will send one update to r1 right in update there will be information of this prefix this network so r2 will share this prefix with r1 right which prefix 10.1.1.0 slash 24 24 and in that update in that update r2 will mention bandwidth and delay of their receiving interface of their receiving interface so receiving interface is this one right what is the bandwidth of this interface bandwidth is in update it will mention bandwidth bandwidth will 10000 right it will mention delay so delay will 100 right and it will mention in update mtu reliability as well right but we don't need that k, that k value to calculate metric so that's why i'm talking about only these two turn bandwidth and delay so when r2 will send update to r1 it will include bandwidth and delay of this link in update with this prefix right now r2 will calculate metric understand suppose the bandwidth of this link is 
suppose the bandwidth of this link is 1000 and delay of this link is 100 okay so this is bandwidth and this is delay okay now r2 b r1 will also also put this value in this formula 10 to the power 7 upon list bandwidth now r1 will compare their receiving interface bandwidth and the bandwidth which is coming in update so what is the bandwidth which is coming in update 10000 what is the bandwidth of my receiving interface 1000 which bandwidth is list my receiving interface bandwidth so this sorter will will this sorter will put 1000 over here 1000 over here so router is com comparing list bandwidth right bandwidth of their own receiving interface and the bandwidth which is coming in update right actually when router will send update eigrp update message in update message there will be information of bandwidth there will be information of delay there will be information of mtu there will be information of reliability everything right now after that plus total delay so delay of my interface is 100 and delay which is coming in update is also 100 so total delay is 200 right 200 upon 10 and whole multiply by 256 so whatever value you will get that will become fd from r1 so that will become matrix from r1 what is fd for r1 total distance from r1 to reach in this network that will become fd right and what is rd for r1 what is rd so rd is distance from my neighbor to destination distance from my neighbor to destination so what is the distance who is my neighbor my neighbor is r2 r2 and what is the distance from r2 to reach in this network so fd fd of r2 so fd of r2 suppose the value i will get from here is 100 right so fd of r2 will become 100 and what will be the rd of r1 uh, rd for r1 will 100 right this is rd is fd of my neighbor fd of my neighbor will become rd for me right and suppose we have one more router over here right r0 now again this router will calculate metric for this network right so this router r1 will send update to r2 in that update there will be information of this prefix with metric and delay now what mat with bandwidth and delay not metric sorry with bandwidth and delay so what bandwidth will carry in this update right which update r1 is sending to r0 list bandwidth right list bandwidth so list bandwidth r1 is receiving update from r2 where metric is where bandwidth is 10000 and my receiving interface bandwidth is 1000 so r1 is going to share bandwidth 1000 and delay total delay total delay is 200 right now r1 r0 is receiving update where metric is 1000 and delay is 2000 suppose the bandwidth of this interface is bandwidth of this interface is 100 and delay of this interface is 10 right now r0 will compare their receiving interface bandwidth and the bandwidth which is coming in update so bandwidth which is coming in update is 1000 and bandwidth of this receiving interface is 100 so now r0 is going to calculate metric like this 10 to the power 7 after that list man bandwidth so list bandwidth is 100 right not 1000 which is coming in update so it will put 100 over here after that total delay so delay which i am receiving in update is 200 and delay of my interface is 10 so what will be the total delay 110 upon 10 will multiply by 256 right whatever value you will get it will become fd for r0 to reach in this network right and what will be the rd for for this router fd and rd right rd is distance from my neighbor to reach this network destination network so what is the fd of r1 whatever fd you will calculate over here that will become rd for r0 whatever fd you will get over here 
that will become rd for this router right let me change the class whatever fd you will calculate over here that will become rd for this router whatever fd you will calculate over here that will become rd for this router rd means total distance from my neighbor to its destination from my neighbor to destination so from my neighbor right this this router to destination is fd and that fd will become rd for this router right and whatever fd right we are calculating over here for this network that will become rd for this router right so what is fd fd is feasible distance total distance from source to destination what is rd rd is total distance from my neighbor to destination from my neighbor to destination and what is successor successor means best path what is feasible successor feasible successor means backup path but there is one feasibility condition and that is rd of feasible successor must be lesser than fd of successor fd of successor right fd of successor rd of feasible successor must be lesser than fd of successor right so guys this is how eigrp router will calculate matrix and suppose we have topology like this we have topology like this this is my r1 this is my r2 this is my r3 and this is my r4 and here is same network 10.1.1.0 slash 24. So now this time R1 is getting the same prefix from two side, from two side, from here and from here. Now which will become successor, which will become feasible successor from where this router will get least FD, least FD or you can say least matrix that path will become successor right and if this path will match the feasibility condition condition then this path will become feasible successor this path will become feasible successor okay so guys if you like this video if you are getting my point please hit on like button that's all for today we will meet soon in next video if you have any doubt please let me know in comment i will make video on it right and if you don't have any doubt right please subscribe this channel please hit on like button please let me know in comments so yes i am getting your point okay that's all for today bye bye thank you stay safe